Hi guys, so um, this is part two of the reading on Ivanka Trump and I just wanted to explain what happened yesterday. So I had done the video number two and I uploaded the video and because this process of uploading actually takes a while. So as soon as I'm done with the video, I just upload it because I know it's going to take a while and once it's uploaded, I go over the video a little bit. Okay, so so what happened was because anyway so because I saw I I usually do video editing on a program but this way of recording which is much easier for me I just do the screencast so I didn't assume there was anything wrong with it so when I went and watched the very beginning of the video it was flickering so much and I never noticed this flickering when I'm doing the video because it's probably something internal to the computer and as it turned out it was when I drag some elements like those sort those um, pointers or the square things so so I there was just way too much of that really too much it was completely unwatchable and almost dangerous so I, I just deleted the video and that's why it was like that okay so and the other thing was I ha when I upload videos I tend to do that a little bit in advance so I forgot to I, I thought I had left it as private and I, I for some reason it was still scheduled as a scheduled video and then it was published before I thought I thought it was not going to be published but it was and so by the time that was published I ended up just deleting it and that's why so many people got are saying they can't reach the video because it's been deleted. So so anyway, so that's where we are today. So the result of that is that I'm not going to use those blue things, but then I did something different. I highlighted, I did the, I put the little numbers here as you can see. And you know, it's funny because of course, what you want to make these, these videos legible and interesting, but at the same time, the more you do that, the more time it takes and I just realized it's, it's, all, it's always this balance between spontaneity and legibility and all of that. But because there was so much flickering, there was just, there's no way I could do this otherwise. Okay, so, so I ended up just doing all this prep work before doing the video. And I don't think I'm going to do this very soon again because it's just very long and it just look like a just a lot of right, a lot of work to make this very, this very, very in depth. So just because it's Ivanka and the Trump family, they're so involved in this. I think we do need something in depth. But I'm gonna try to go back to the other style of readings because they are more, they're easier to do. And now it's like a, like I said, it's a balance between busy and present. I can't obviously can't do all everything, but. Anyway, so, but I think this helps a lot in explaining how the story develops and how one thing leads to another. Okay, so what you can see the writing in red here that I've summarized what the steps tell us. Okay, A, that the Russia connection was first present in their enterprise, and two, that Ivanka, Jared, and Eric are involved with the Russian connection. Not that the other brother isn't, but, um, the uh, okay just one second okay so yeah so it's just that like I said just that um, all of these things one thing leads to another okay all right so just want to remind you if you haven't watched the other videos the writing underneath in this, inside those gray little boxes refers to the houses and not the cards okay so the way that I, that it's almost like a game, right? The game goes is that you find the card and then you locate the house. So for example, you see, let me, now I can zoom. The zoom doesn't affect the screen, but let's show here. Let's show you here. Okay, so you see here the little hand number one, that's where we start. Because when you do a reading like this, you want to find the most relevant cards to the issue you're inquiring about. Okay, so here in this case, it's the house. So the White House and under is in the ship. So what's the ship? Ship is something foreign, the foreign influence. Okay, so going back to the whole tableau, we find the ship. And now I'm gonna going to start moving here. You probably can see with the mouse. I uh, see here is ship. So what I do is I find the actual card ship. 
and it leads to number two. So here we are with a card. Oh, I should, oh, that, that must have flickered. So I'm not going to touch anything. I have to remember that I can't touch anything. But anyway, so you can see here that the flicker, oh, the flicker, the little hand is on position 19, okay? Um, and the card ships. So it's saying basically the foreign influence in the White House is connected to the tower. And what is the tower? The tower is the card that in Lenormand means enterprise, the business, enterprise. Sometimes the government, sometimes law, but in this case, I do believe it's enterprise. Okay, so what we do next, we find the card enterprise, which is right here, number three. And what is the context of this enterprise? Okay, it's contextualized in the, in the, house of anchor and anchor has to do with time it has to do with stability and if we think about it oh my god actually i hadn't seen this yesterday but it, it's even more serious right because it's saying that this enterprise has been in, the, in this condition for a long time because anchor is probably one of those cards that has most to do with long time so for a long time this enterprise has been in this condition with the russian influence so let's find the anchor the card anchor and then find four here and what is what does it mean that it's been like this for a long time? It means so it's it's located at the mice house. So mice means theft and loss, basically loss. So it means that because it's been it's had this Russian influence for a long time, it's gonna lead to a loss. And then we find the mice card number five here. What's the context for the loss? The loss is because of problems. Basically, cloud is, is about problems. So the context of the loss is because there's going to be problems. So let's find out more about these problems. And then we look at for, for card six, which is here. You can see I already found it. I put the six here. Clouds. The clouds have to do with some sort of gift that they have received before. And let's find out more about this gift. Let's find the card bouquet. We found it here. So what is the context of this gift? that has led to problems that will lead to the loss, okay, because of the whole thing that happened a long time. So the context of these gifts are fighting and pain, and pain, okay, a lot of aggression and fighting and discord and pain. Well, let's find out the context for this, this because basically it, it's, a, it's a little bit like the card is what happens and, and underneath is the context. So what happened was a gift in the context of aggression. So it's possible that <clears throat> they received a gift also as a means to say, okay, we'll give you something, but you have to be aggressive for us or something like that. Okay, so let's find out about how this aggression affects the, the energy. Okay, what the context of this aggression is going to be. It's going to be in the garden. Now, the garden is a card that means public. It can mean lots of people. It can also mean social media, okay? So aggression on social media, possibly. And then we have, let's find out where the garden is, okay? So the garden is a tree. I'm sorry, I made a mistake, not a garden. That's a, yes, it is a garden. <laughs> confused. Anyway, so, so the garden is here, the tree, okay? And so this public situation, the social media connection is a tree. And what is a tree? What does it mean? What is this context? It means that in the in the area related to growth and health. Okay, so basically, they achieve growth through social media, possibly. So let's find out more about the what's going on with the uh, with growth itself. Who handles growth? How does this growth happens? And then we find here in the man position. So the growth happens through a man. So this is you see how all these things are super interconnected. So who is the man? Let's look for him. Oh, there he is, Jared Kushner. So Jared Kushner, you see how one thing trickles down to another and creates this long story, right? So, so then we find that, let's find out more of what's the context to Jared Kushner in the story. His context is something secret, okay? He's involved in something secret. So what is this something secret? It's right next to him, the book, right? So this is the book, this is the event of a, something secret. But what is the context for something secret? The secret thing happens through or is revealed through or has to do with a letter, like written communication. So let's find a letter. And this is, guys, number 13 here. Incredible because it's very related to our situation. So 
this letter, this written communication, it could be an indictment, it could be proof, it could be the email that they all said it with the Russian lawyer. So what is the context of this letter? If this letter is present, okay, the context of this letter is the election. So you see the crossroad house is, um, the crossroad in the readings of the Russian investigation has been associated with the election itself. So we see how there was a, possibly an agreement related to the election, a secret agreement related to the election brokered by Jared Kushner um, to grow through the use of social media, okay, aggressive use of social media, he got a gift, they got a gift for that, this gift will eventually cause problems and loss for them because they've had this demonstrates that there has been a long-term influence of Russia in their enterprise and then subsequently the White House. Okay, so now I basically what I've just done is I've told this story after we've looked at everything. Okay, so so just I had stopped before I went before I just told the full story for this one thing. I was at position 22 the the election of the letter. So so we end at the very end you see I put the red 14 we end with the election at the context of the house okay because that's when the story ends the story the storyline links to the beginning so this all happens because the house is connected to the election and the election is connected to everything russian you see what i mean so if we look at where the house is because i started with the ship <sighs> House. I mean, sorry, ship, ship house in the terms of context, right? The great little part. And I could have also gone with the, started this story with the card house, but I didn't. So what happened is that we end at the house, actual house. I'm sorry, house number four, right? Meaning actual house in the tableau. So the, the context of house, of family, is related to the election and therefore the house card and the house position are connected to the election see because if we let's look at how important this is here because okay so if we look at you see here sh the house house position is related to the house card and this is the card related to the election and the ship position is where the actual event of the house is stationed and the ship obviously relates to something foreign. So this alone is a very significant. So I just wanted to show you all of this, okay, in one. This is not about the whole tableau, obviously. It's just one thing. What happens, the stories you can tell just by looking at the cards themselves. And somebody had left a comment that I thought was interesting about the fact that I explained a lot of the cards and that I, it sounds like I'm I'm giving an education on this or something. And and it is true, maybe I could be I could be um faster or could give less detail. But the reality is if we I feel like I learn by looking at the car. I can't just make claims. I can of course say, hey guys, look, there's a Russian influence in the house. Like we know that, right? But the point of this channel, I think, is to tell this story. And to tell the story in a way that is almost more analytical than it is intuitive. And of course I am intuitive and it's part of it. But what I like to show people is that it's not, it's beyond me. Because I think when you becomes about a personality cult or something, and then you it, it, become, it becomes less interesting, I think. Because people can't necessarily participate and can't create their own stories, okay? So that's that. So there's several, I'm going to go over, there's so much more to say because I already organized here the other little stories that I had not told in the previous video, okay? All right, so let's see, go here to Ivanka's reputation is connected to that of her brothers. So I just wanted to show that because the first card here, you see number one, is very important, right? We talked about this before, is the writer, the news, and the news is related to their reputation in the world. So, um, you see that this story I'm going to tell, the storyline I'm going to follow here, just with the house, house positions method, leads, leads to Moon 
because it ends with moon because the moon see here um you know actually what i've done it's like i've done it like i did the other way in in the in the sense that i started with the house and not the card okay so i started and went to don jr as opposed to ivanka but ivanka so ivanka shows at the very end okay so if we start this one little story we understand that this is about it starts with their reputation okay so what is um, what is the new? Oh, you know what? Let's start. I started with the house. So the house is the news. What is the news? What is the big thing here? What does it lead to? It leads to Don Jr. because Don Jr. is number two. Okay. It, Don Jr. is the writer. I've said before at the very beginning of this reading is part number one. So what is the context of Don Jr.? Don Jr. is tasked with expansion. Okay. With expansion of some of the ideas. And, oh, this is super interesting. I have thought about this before. And so, anyway, sorry, let me just stop here. Okay, so Don Jr. and expansion. It's 16. So expansion of the ideas. Where is this? Here, number three. That's where we go next. Expansion of the ideas, the dream, expanding the dreams. Where is the context of this? The context of this is Eric. Because I've said before, at the beginning, the very beginning of part one, that we decided the child is going to represent Eric. So, so then this expansion is also related to Eric. Okay, so what's, what does Eric want? Or what's the context of Eric? It's 17. 17 is right here, the stork. And the stork is about moving on to better things, being promoted, moving on to something better. And what is the position of this, this event? It's in the position of the fox, things behind your back, sneaky things, okay? So what is it? What is, tell, tell me more about an event that's related to this context. So the event here of the fox, something shady, is in the house of the woman. And who is the woman? We know that the woman is, is Ivanka. So essentially, Ivanka is doing, she is, seems rather corrupt in this reading because you see here, she the fox is stationed in her the house that's supposed to be matters related to the woman, and she is the woman, okay? And so she, basically, if we can think of the house as almost the job that the card performs, the card is more important than the house, but at the same time, it's where, the, it's whatever this, this event or this, this thing is happening, okay? So the foxy stuff, meaning stuff behind people's back, is happening through the influence of Ivanka herself, and let's look at Ivanka. What's her context? What's her job? Okay, in the large scheme of things. What's, what's, what's her, where's her energy or her performing? It's performing at, as the reputation. So you see how this even this story only has seven steps, but it, it, it goes through the brothers and her. So I thought this is very important because it's showing that once the, something, whatever happens to the reputation, it affects everybody in the family, okay? So, so that's something I wanted to show you and that's relevant. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to sh show you here is that I, I isolated the row. Let me just zoom here. I isolated this row related to, I've talked before. It's, it's the, this is stationed in the house of the election 22 crossroads. And I wasn't sure if it's an, about an indictment of the proof or their, of their whatever crimes. So you can see here that this whole thing starts from left to right. And the left is supposed to be the, the farthest past and the future is, right? And this is the future. And I think Ivanka is around here somewhere, which means this is where we are here. Oh, sorry. So around position 24 is the present and around 27 is the farthest out. So if we read this as a, as a, as a long list, okay, so the string they call the Lenormand string, then we can see that it starts with a Russian influence, aggressive Russian influence through lots of money, the fish, okay? And then this aggressive, uh, aggressive influence of money leads to a letter, okay? So it could be that either there is a proof of their uh, conspiracy or that people involved in this do get a letter, meaning an indictment, okay? And that the money that came through a letter or that's related to a written communication leads to time. It leads to maybe hard time or something or, or that this money has been there for a long time. 
and it's saying here that the letter if we look at here this letter is key the letter is very important to probably the investigation okay and um, because it proves possibly that this influence has been around for a long time okay if we look at these three cards here and then if we move further out to the scythe here's a scythe cutting something um, making an impact in that way um, it, it, you could say here that the key meaning the key to this whole reading and the whole investigation is that the fact that it, it has been this influence has been there for a long time and this is going to lead to a cut okay so whoever is involved in this thing that has been happening for a long time is going to be cut okay and then it's saying this cut is crucial is is important to or affects mostly who the gentleman and who is the gentleman the gentleman is jared okay why jared because jared is right next to the book so he's a keeper of the secret if you will okay and and as we have seen before the secret is is here right at the letter the stage of the letter meaning the secret is connected to this important letter the important written communication itself so so anyway so yeah so then if we look at the jared then the jared is going what happens if we look at the first position 25 here the scythe is what the, the cutting man the man is going to be cut is going to be cut why because of the book so then the whole story closes here you see it's it's you have to look at all those things and like i said it's this is takes a very long time and there's so many ways that you can confirm certain stories and threads it's there's just a lot but it ends up confirming the tone of the whole thing okay so i'm going to stop here for now because i don't do i have let's say here one sec one second i think there is quite a bit more you know what I think I'm gonna do I think I'm going to uh, there's three more so one thing yeah well let me just do this quickly because then it'll be too long okay so we talked about the letter now the next thing that I want to talk about and I'm, I'm gonna try to be faster so that it doesn't get super long but I don't want to split into another video so let's do this okay so so then I wanted to talk to you about this because I thought this is like super interesting too and going even I think it's important to look at this first three cards okay so if we look at even the um the, the, the what's the role of talking and what's the deal with this whole talk thing okay someone mentioned in the comments uh, I think today, I think Robin said something that the talk, the bird card is related to Twitter. It is definitely related to Twitter because people, blah, 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 blah. it's all the talk, all the gossip, but all the movement related to conversations. Okay, so, so we have here, the conversations have lead to an opportunity. Okay, so it's interesting because I I was also thinking that people, the country is talking about this. Okay, so what is the conversation? There's an opportunity in conversation. Okay, so so then what what is the context of this opportunity? Because the talk, the birds card, right, is is in is is acting. The energy of talk is acting in the position in the the position of opportunity. So where is the opportunity card? Right here, number two. Opportunity card is related. What where? how is this opportunity card acting what where is this energy performing and what what is performing it's forming a cut okay so there's something related to a cut here or a decision or something like that so let's find what's the context of this cut let's find the scythe card and number three here we found it it's cutting the the, the scythe is performing where cutting what some sort of ring like a basically a business deal or, or a business or basically a deal of some sort could even be marriage okay so so this the whole talk the whole the whole thing is 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 related to is going to lead to at least in the context of the investigation and in this reading to the business deal and what is this business deal what is the deal they have 
the deal is related to the key. So the deal is going to be a very important thing to the investigation. Okay, this business deal. And let's find the key. Where is the key? The key is right here. Okay, so the key, like I've, I've said before, the key is what is something that's very important. It's it's the solution, is the main thing, or is an aha moment, those kinds of things. Okay, so this key is performing. Where is the energy of the key performing? It's performing the values. So this business deal is key to the values of this group of people. And let's so let's find the the heart. The heart, we are the heart house. Let's find the heart heart card. It's right here. And what is the heart related to? It's related to happiness, but it's, to me and how I tend to read it is that the heart is the is who the person really is, because the person, every person, I think, is a summation of their values, right? So in a way, you could say that what do they really care about? And they are sitting at the house of lots of money, so they are materialistic. Essentially, they care about large quantities of money, and so let's find the the card of lots of money what did this well what will this lead to and then right here we have a card lots of money position set um a little hand seven what is this energy of money performing like what's the context for this money okay the context for this money is the mountain and what is the mountain the mountain means lots of problems long-term challenges and what is this energy of long-term problems and challenges? What's this? Where is this performing? It's performing for Lily. And who is Lily? Lily is the president. Okay, so, so there we have problems for the president. And then where's the pre, What's where's the energy of the president performing? But the president's energy performing isn't talking. So he talks. So you see, it's like first. It's interesting because I read it also as. The talk was an opportunity for them to get voters, to get the whole controversy going, but it's the downfall because you see that it, it's related to the scythe, it's related to finding the true connection. So the business connection probably has something to do with social media as well, and it happens through through a large quantity of money because that's really what motivates them. We see the heart there. So the investigation is going to find something related to this business deal because this business deal really summarizes everything they care for, which is lots of money. And this lots of money is actually going to create lots of problems for them and for the president, because that's all he does is really talk. So you can see how this story kind of flips and goes around, okay, depending on on all whatever house it's located in. Okay, so that's interesting, because I thought since the whole this reading is about the Trump kids and the Trump family and Trump himself connected, okay? So we got that. And then this one is super quick. I just wanted to show you here because I had said before in the other reading that there's something here about Ivanka being a snake or being related to, to being a snake in some way. Okay. So I just wanted to show you quickly how that's related. So if we look at number one, position number one here, okay, not position number one, I'm sorry, the little hand number one, meaning let's look at here, start here with this story line okay what do we have here we have the card from Mueller dog okay so so where is 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 this Mueller energy performing it's performing in problems and enemies so it's acting as an enemy and creating problems for for let's see and then we find the card so the card of this energy of problems and 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 uh enemies is where is is it performing it's performing in the card in the house of the sun which is let's think of sun as looking as, as finding information as connecting things together putting things together so where is this where is this sun card so what so basically essentially the enemy is in a really good position because he is able to look at a lot of information a lot of things to shed light into things so what where is the enemy meaning Miller Mueller people get mad when I say that when is so when Mueller is what is Mueller looking at he is looking at money because the 15 house is related to money well not lots of money but basically the the basic card a uh, basic position that tends to be associated with money the bear so let's find the bear where's the bear located bear card isn't because little hand four so that means the bear is in the house of the coffin so the energy of money leads to an ending okay 
So let's find out more about this ending. Let's look at the card. So where is the card of the ending? It's in the house of guilt. Okay. So why? So it's saying that the money. Okay. So the person. Let's let's start at the very beginning again. So Mueller is their enemy, and he's in a really good position because he can shed light into anything. He is the sun, right? So he's, so he's acting in the position of the sun and looking into what kinds of things. He's looking into money, transactions related to money. So what's going to happen now that he's looking into all this money? Well, something's going to come to an end as a result of him looking into money because the money is a key to their end and their end is located at the guilt house. So the money is related to... It's going to create an end because the money is an indication of their guilt. So how is this guilt performing? What's going on with the guilt? Well, you can see position six. The guilt is is where is is located at the house of Muller. Okay, the dog. So Muller is very connected to finding the guilt, and it looks like he will find because he's looking at money, and money is going to be their downfall. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys that I think in a way there's a connection. Now that I've read the story, I actually think that it's probably not even her, maybe, but that Muller is much closer to her than what she realizes. Because Muller is not the snake, but there's something there. Okay, he is in the snake house. So so anyway, so that's this part about Muller connecting to the snake. And the last thing I wanted to show you about Ivanka especially because when I first did this reading I really wanted to look more into Ivanka but it ended up being about everybody because they're all interconnected but let's look at just one quick thing here I did this there's this technique called knighting and it's a little complicated but it's can be useful to confirm or to look at things so knighting is is the use of this chess position right so it's like two to one that's how they move so let's say here you can see the square around her it's like, let's say that she moves one to the sun, two to Lily, and then up to position 21 mountain. So that's an ID. So I counted this for all of the positions she could do this, this to. And I came up with these. Okay, so, so to me, the ID really means what's her reach. Okay, ultimately. So to me, that means that she's connected to lots of money. Okay, she's connected to an expansion of the business. They're gonna, she's connected to the sun in the sense that there's gonna be scrutiny into her and she's connected to the scythe. So to me, that means there's an ending related to her. Okay, so she, there's gonna be a sudden ending, a sudden loss for her, I think, because of her connections to lots of money and because the sun is there. So I think that summarizes well what's going to happen to Ivanka very briefly. Okay, so I think, so that's that, guys. Uh, I'm going to stop here because I'm just going backwards here to see. Yeah, we looked at everything, and and that's that. So that ends part two of Ivanka and the Trump family. All right, thanks for listening and watching. Bye.